Hey Lim listeners, I have great news for you and that is that we have a new version of reports for you. So this new version of reports is going to allow you to see more details and will be a lot more clear on your multi-channel campaigns. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can get the most out of the new reports. So simply go up here and you can click on reports or use the keyboard shortcut R, which is what I will use. And here you have an overview of all of your campaigns. But if you go ahead for this example, how I'm going to show you is through one of my labels. So I have a label created for my outbound campaigns. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my label. And now it will go ahead and calculate my stats. And you can see that this will break down my stats into each type of channel. So I have my email channel, I have LinkedIn, I have calls, and I also have other. So as soon as this shows up, you can see that it will have the reports like always. It shows sent, opened, clicked, replied, and interested. Now, if you hover your mouse over these, you can actually see how these reports are calculated. So this is great because also this is going to allow you to change how these are calculated based on your settings. And I'll explain how to do that just a little bit later. So after you see the stats for your campaigns here, you can see each campaign is broken down below. All of the campaigns in this label are broken down here and it will provide you with even more details about each channel. So for example, here you can see like for LinkedIn, it did show up here, but we have it broken down very easily here. It will show you each type of LinkedIn step. So we have the visits, we have LinkedIn invites, and we have the messages sent as well. So this will just be much more detailed for you. So you can see all of the stats about each one of your campaigns in detail. You'll also notice this bar here. So if you haven't seen this yet, this will be your stat bar for each of your campaigns. So for example, we can see the first one, it was just created, so we don't have any leads set up here. That's why the bar is empty. Then in this one, we can see that we have our leads imported, but they're waiting to be verified, or they're waiting to be checked. But then down here, you can see them in a little bit more detail. We have our contacted, we have our replied, and if I want to go into this even more, I'll go ahead and click on a specific campaign. So here you'll see the board for our specific campaign. So this will be even more detailed for you. You can check the stat bar it will be right at the top. So this shows how many leads have been imported that are waiting to be checked. You can also see how many were contacted, how many bounced, how many were opened, interacted, replied, and of course, interested. And this shows the same as before. This campaign was just through email, but if it was through any other channels, then it would show that here as well. Then we have our campaign status. So this is just going to give you any reminders of any next steps you need or show you any errors with your campaign. So as of right now, it's saying that we're out of your schedule. So we need to add a new schedule to this campaign. Then you can go in to your sequence and you'll be able to see each of your steps and you can see the stats of your A and B testing. This is great because it's going to really allow you to see how one email worked over the other. So in this case, I can clearly see that the sequence A worked a lot better than sequence B. You can see more leads are interested, more replied, more clicked and more opened. And then after your sequence, you can also check your activities. And this is just going to show all of the interactions with your campaign. And also when you do have some that are left to be sent, when you do have emails left to be sent or actions left to be made, for example, with emails, it will tell you when you, when your next email will be sent out and to whom it will be sent to. So the last part of this page that we're going to look at is that at any time you can switch back and forth between the editor and your reports. You can also see the negative reports and you will want to be sure to see how those are calculated as well. And of course, you can always export your reports also. Now for the moment you've been waiting for, the coolest part of this update is how you can edit your stats, how you can edit them to be to show what you would like. So to do that, all you'll have to do is go into settings. So you can either go up here and click on settings or of course use the keyboard shortcut S, which is what I will do. So once you're in settings, you can navigate to your reports tab. 
And before we go any further, it is very important to note that if you want to change any of your reports, any of the ways that your stats are calculated, be sure to verify this with your team because it will change your stats for your entire team and not just you. So going forward, so here we see the formula. So this is how your stats are calculated and it's broken down into each of your channels. So you see that we have email, we have LinkedIn, calls and others. So the way that these stats are calculated are by taking the stat name and dividing it by the reference. So here you can choose what you would like the reference to be. So this will basically modify the way that the stats are calculated. So simply go in and choose what you would like. So for this one, let's say I want to take email open and divide it by email sent or email sent minus bounce who replied and this will change my stats. Once I save it, then I'll go back into my reports and this will show the updated stat. That was it for today's video. I hope this has helped you guys to learn how you can use the new version of Lemlist Reports to get the most information possible out of your multi-channel campaigns. If you have any questions, please go up here to the question mark, check out our help and support guide. Of course, you can always chat with us. And also, you know how much we love your feedback. So please, if you have any feedback on this new version of reports, leave a comment down below and let us know how it's working for you. Also, of course, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to the Lemlist channel so you can see more about what is new with Lemlist. That's it, guys. Have a great day.